Well, hello there, all you strange and interesting creatures of the internet. Welcome back to the All Seasons on F1 2022. As you can see, our departments are looking pretty decent. Aero spec 2, chassis and durability, powertrain is spec 1. And in the Vigor Performance Comparison Chart, you can see that we are bottom at the moment. But we've got a huge amount of developments waiting to go on to the car, which should do us in good stead in these following races. So there you go. We have done a development, so we jumped up above William. We're now just behind Alpha Tori, so we're still the second worst car currently in the field at the moment. So now it's time to move on to the supercar, and we completed it. Only a bronze, but we did it. We did it. Fan. Fantastic. So, practice has been completed. We got some more lovely resource points to add to our collection. 1,881. More boosts. Engine power. Internal combustion engine. Motor gen... Oh, God. What does all this bloody shit mean? Somebody please tell me. Somebody, will you please tell me? So here we are in Miami, and oh my goodness, bloody good gold. Look at this, it's absolutely pissing down. It's raining cats, dogs, aunties, Cornish pasties, sausage rolls, and anything else you can think of. But we cross light at the moment, it's eighth place. We're in four wet conditions as we accelerate forward out to look at those qualifying. You can see we have switched on to the Inters because it has dried up a little bit. Let's have a look and see where we ended up at the end of the qualifying. It's 16th place. Well, not too bad because it's in the the conditions at the start of the qualifying were absolutely atrocious. Maxi Boy got pole position, Charles Leclerc got second in the end, Carl signed in third place. We ended up in 16th uh, ahead of our teammate Sebastian Metal, who apparently has got a five second penalty for some very strange reason. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay then, let's do this. Welcome to the Miami International Autodrome, home of the Miami Grand Prix. This exciting track circumnavigates the Hard Rock Stadium, home to the NFL outfit, the Miami Dolphins. Sitting at the southeastern coast of Florida, the Miami International Autodrome has 19 corners and 3.36 miles of racing. It's a circuit designed to encourage close racing while meeting the highest safety standards. Either way, I am sure it's one which will please the fans. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Russell, Sergio Perez, and Hamilton, Gasly, Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, and Valtteri Bottas. Mick Schumacher, Sonoda, Esteban Ocon and Joe Norris. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. The captain, Nicholas Latifi and Alex Alban. Magnussen and Sebastian Vettel starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out. So let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the all seasons clear mode and we say go 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 and it's so away we go from 16th place on the grid. We've already got past Gwen Yu Joe, but can we get past any more cars? Well of course we can. We're gonna do a dive into turn one, it's hooks to dive again. And yes, yes, yes. Oh that was very tight, very tight indeed. But I think we've done it. No, wait a minute, we've got an LP off the left hand side, that's Fernando. Alonso, but yes, we have done it, lads. We have done it. Up into the points once again in our very underperforming Aston Martin. Up into ninth place. It's another fantastic performance from the guy. Oh, as I say about giving up, though, look at this. Fernando Alonso is not prepared to give up his ninth position place, and he's fighting back at us, but we managed to hold it together. So, ninth place at the moment for the Uxler. We've got um, Dan Daniel Ricciardo, the honey badger, directly ahead of us, and Fernando... Alonso is directly behind us in 10th place at the moment on the first lap of the Miami circuit. You can see the sun is shining brightly. So, oh, look at this. Alonso once again goes for a move down the inside of us. Gives us a little bit of squeeze, forces us out to the outside, but we managed to hold on to this ninth place. As we're now going to go through this very complicated section at Miami. You have to go very, very slowly through this chicane and to be very, very careful. You can jump off the curb there and actually spin off into the wall. But we get through beautifully once again for the Uxta. 
Now we're going down the very, very long straight. This is going to be an opportunity for Nan Fernando Alonso to get past us, but of course he hasn't got DRS, but he's still trying, still trying. But look at this, look. We are outpacing him down the straight. Fantastic. Look at this. We are outpacing Fernando Alonso. He's got nothing left in the tank. Well, as I say that, he goes for the move, and look at this. We squeeze Fernando Alonso and manage to hold on to this ninth position at the moment. So we're about to complete lap one of this Grand Prix. Fastest lap goes to Charles Leclerc, so he must be in the lead at the moment of this Grand Prix. We continue, still chasing Daniel Ricciardo, who is just shy of a second up the road from us at the moment. As we accelerate for lap two, lap two, yes. Ninth position, still for the Uxter. And oh, goodness gracious me, we've been pinballed. We've been pinballed by Fernando Alonso, but we managed to hold on to it. In fact, we almost got an illegal overtake, but we didn't because he actually uh, got his wheels in front of ours so that was great news but wow that was very close we almost actually binned it into the wall there but I don't know what Fernando was thinking but we just checked for damage but there's no damage to the car so it's all good so we carry on as we accelerate for that slow lap two just going past the pit as you can see and as you can also see Fernando Alonso is once again trying for a move down the inside of us but we're going to squeeze him and we do squeeze him all look at that that was very contentious from the hookster there very contentious but I don't think there was even any contact there so it's all good still ninth place for the at the moment on lap three now the Grand Prix Ricardo's now got the gap up to two seconds as we accelerate for lap five here comes Fernando Oh, Alonso down the long straight. He's going to go down the inside of us this time. So we're going to have to run him out to dry. And we do the switch back. We do the switch. Well, we try to, but Fernando Alonso blocks us off. But this time we do manage to pull it off. Wow, fantastic move there from Nookster. And we are now still in, I think, this ninth place. Anyway, it's time for us to come in for our pit stop now. So in we come from ninth position. Yes, we're going to drop hugely down the pack now 15 in fact we may go to the back now are we going to have a perfect pit stop once again yes we are look at that fantastic thank you lads they change on to the yellow sidewall tire the harder tire for the rest of this stint and we're going to rejoin uh, 18th place at the moment so not too bad but i think more cars are going to come past us as we're about to come out of the pits let's have a look and see if they do no i don't think there is actually so it may be 18th position for us as we rejoin the field yes it is 18th place on lap six now for the hookstar at miami fantastic as we accelerate forward now to uh, lap six and thankfully as we're going past the pits other cars have now come in for their stop so uh, are we going to get back into the ninth place that we had from the start no it's only 13th position now, have we got more cars to come in or have we been jumped horribly in the pit stop? I'm hoping on lap 8 that there's actually more cars coming in. As I say, as a car trying to get past us, I think it's a Husk car. Yes, it is. It's Mick Schumacher. He does get past us, but we managed to hang him out. Oh, we've gone terribly wide, terribly wide on the exit there, but we managed to hang it together and hold on now to this 13th position on lap 9. Yes, 13th place. So still not back into those world championship points at the moment. Hopefully, though, more cars have got a pit as we accelerate forward lap 9. And yes, indeed, he missed a McGreedy. More cars have got a pit. We've got at least four cars in. I think one of those is our teammate, Sebastian Vettel, as well. I'm not quite sure, though. They just look like a green colour on the minimap. And we've, yes, we've done it. We've gone into 10th position. Tenth, so we've lost one place. Somehow we've lost a place. I don't know how that's happened, but we have lost a place. Unless one more car has got to come in for a pit stop. Anyway, there you go. Lap 10, still in 10th position now at the moment and still being hounded by Fernando Alonso right behind us as we accelerate forward now, still on lap 10. I'm just going past the pits and yes, a car is coming for a very late pit stop. It's Grand New Joe, which means now we're going to go back into the ninth position. That is two World Championship points for our little Aston Martin in our first season on the F1 2022 All Seasons career mode, which is great to see. Ninth position for the Uxter. Gasly is now the car ahead. He's 12 seconds up the road. And Fernando Alonso is still behind us. So we're on lap 11. Look at this. Look at this, everyone. We got really excited for you now. Look, Alonso gets past us. And so does Mick Schumacher. But Uxter's going to do a dive down the inside. Does he, does he manage to hold it? Does he manage to get it around the corner again? No, no. Mick Schumacher's got us. Mick Schumacher's... Oh, and Uxter's going to be incandescent with rage over this one. He's going to do a dive down the inside of this next turn. I'm sure he is. Let's have a look and see what happens. Yes, we can see it's going to happen right away. He breaks a lot later than Mick Schumacher manages to squeeze him out does give him space though does give him space so it's a clean move nookster and we resume our ninth position as we accelerate for the lap 12 and once again fernando alonso down the long straight under the drs has managed to get past us but we're going to see oh no he's making us go any outside he's making us go any outside a little bit of contact there with fernando alonso oh almost scraped the wall but just managed to get away with it and we're back down to ninth place as we accelerate for the lap 14 and that's it that's the end of the race maxi boy verstappen 
has won the race. So hopefully now we're going to finish in ninth place. I don't know what's happened to Fernando Alonso. He's dropped back horribly though. We've got Mick Schumacher behind us now and Alexander Albon. As I say that, Mick Schumacher's trying to move around the outside, but I think we're going to have him covered off pretty decently. So yeah, I don't know what happened to Fernando. Maybe a little bit of contact with us and maybe he had to come in for a pit stop for the new wing. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, that's the end of the race. We're going to finish it with some points once again in our Aston Martin. Fantastic. Well, that's about as good as you could expect from an Aston Martin at Miami. And a car which is second for... Oh, we get drive... I think I deserve that. I really do think I deserve that. I hope that's reflected in the, in the points uh, scores that I get in the comments section of this video. Anyway, there you go. Look at this, everyone. Look at this. There's the team mechanics and there are the drivers sitting in the cars talking about whatever. No idea. What do they talk about? Anyway, there he is. Maxi Boy Verstappen. He won the bloody race as he's done so many times in 2023. Oh God, oh God. And he jumps up in the air. Look, he's still got stamina, that boy. He's still got stamina. Fantastic. Great to see. Right, time for the podium now. And uh, we'll just see the, here they go. Here's comes, is he gonna shake his right hand? No, he didn't. Wow, fantastic. So onto the podium now. There is Maxi Boy. Both the Renault boys finished in second and third, Charles Leclerc in second, and of course Carlos Sainz in third place as Maxi Boy holds up the trophy and says, yes, I did it, lads. Look at me, I bloody well did it. And there are the Red Bull team mechanics, yes, congratulating themselves. It's time for the champagne now to go over everyone, yes, and especially Charles Leclerc. Well done, well done indeed. Well, I'm very happy with that race. I, I did exactly what I needed to do in our underperforming Aston Martin. Let's go to the points now. As you can see, Max got 25. In fact, Carlos Sainz got the fastest lap. We ended up in ninth place with two World Championship points. So in the Championship now, we're in 10th position with 10 World Championship points. Max is in the lead with 117. Carlos in second with 79. And Sergio Perez in third with 78. And our teammate, unfortunately, Sebastian Vettel, still has yet to score a single point. And in the Constructors, we are in sixth place. Okay, then it's time to move on to the next Galan de Blee. So yes, it's Spain, not a circuit that the hookster is very keen on. We're still in second from last at the moment in our Aston Martin, just behind the Alfa Tauri, uh, but ahead of the Williams team. We've done our supercar and unfortunately we, we failed. Yes, oh dear, oh dear, we failed quite spectacularly in fact, yes. <laughs> Anyway, so let's move on now to practice, and that's been completed. We've got some more lovely resource points. We've got now 1,711 to add to our collection, which means it's time for more development boosts. ICE, engine power, turbo durability. Yes, that's what you need. Oh, God. Yes, the rain in Spain falls mainly on Dave's bald head. Yes, it's time for the Spanish Grand Prix, the home of Carmen Jorda. I really must get on with finishing that career mode one day. Anyway, ninth position at the moment for the Hookster as we accelerate forward now to a little bit later qualifying. You can see that we've dropped down to 19th place. Our teammate Sebastian Vettel, though, is currently in 16th place just ahead of us. We are slightly up on the Delta times, so can we improve on 19th and maybe jump ahead? of our own teammate Vettel. Let's have a look what's about across the line. The answer to that is going to be a resounding... No. 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 Oh, bugger. Oh, cock. We haven't done it. Still in 19th place. Anyway, that's almost the end of qualifying. You can see we are slightly up on the Delta once again, but we're still in 19th place. Vettel's dropped out of the 17th place. Can we now get past... No, we can't, but we have just got behind Vettel. So 18th position for the race in Spain for the Hookster. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Anyway, that is it then. Where do we end up in the end? At the end of qual... Yes, it's 19th place. 19th place in our gorgeous liveried Aston Martin. If only it went as fast as it looked. Anyway, Lulu got pole. Lulu got pole. Lewis. Georgie Russell got second place. We ended up in 19th place. Bastion Vettel's just ahead of us in 18th position. Okay, then let's do this. The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture of the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? 
that day, he took his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. The circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia then, a high-speed 2.89-mile circuit, which demands an efficient downforce package and bravery on the part of the driver, especially through the blind right of Turn 9, which we might just see taken flat out this weekend. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Carlos Sainz, and Norris, Fernando Alonso, Ricardo, Ocon, and Pierre Gasly, Bottas, Magnussen, Guan Yu Zhou, and Sonoda, Leclerc, Mick Schumacher, Alex Albon, and Sebastian Vettel the captain, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. A warm welcome to Natalie Pinkham, who is beside me in the commentary box today. We should talk about Williams. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the all seasons clear mode. And we say go, go, go. And it's all where we go. We've got Vettel just off to the right hand side. We've got to dispatch Vettel pretty quickly. And at the moment, we're not dispatching Vettel pretty quickly. We've got another car to the right hand side trying to get past, but we managed to stick to the line. And we're going to go to turn one and we're going to do a dive. Yes, we are. It's Spain. But anyway, let's have a look. We can't really dive on many cars though because there's not really enough room. And already we're up to it's 15th place at the moment. We're fighting with K back. Kevin Beckson in the house car. We've got Yuki Sonoda. Yuki Sonoda ahead of us in 13th place at Charles de Cloak. This is our last opportunity to do a one more dive. One more. No, we can't do it. We just cannot do it. So we've got another last opportunity to do a dive for Yuki and then that's going to be it. Let's have a look and see if he goes on Yuki. Yes, yes, Charles de Cloak. Oh, bloody hell. There was contact there contact there with Charles Leclerc but we get through I don't know about any damage there that was a very heavy sort of wheel banging maneuver there between the hookster and the Ferrari car but uh, yes 12 position now we are behind Pierre Gasly oh mon dieu mon dieu in fact we're in the middle of a Alpha Touri sandwich between Gasly and Yuki so no doubt let's see if we can go for Gasly oh he tried there the hookster tried desperately to try and get past Gasly but I, I think that's going to be it. I don't think we're going to be able to gain any more positions because of the performance of this car just isn't good. So this could possibly be the first race of the season so far. Oh, look at this though. Cars ahead are slowing down horribly. Horribly slowing down. I don't know what's going on here. Looks like going to see if he can use the opportunity to try and get past, but unfortunately not. So that's the end of lap one. Fastest lap for Maxi Boys. So he must be in the lead of the race. We've got a Ferrari of Charles Leclerc behind us. We've got absolutely no chance of holding off Charles Leclerc, have we? Surely not. Surely not. But anyway, at the moment, 12 position. Gasly ahead in 11. We accelerate one on lap two. As you can see, now Charles Leclerc in that Ferrari is looking very, very angry indeed. But we are hanging him out to drive any outside. Oh, look at that. A bit of wheel banging there between Charles Leclerc and the Alpha Touri. But we hold it together. 12 position at the moment. And ahead of us still is Pierre Gasly. Now two seconds up the road in just two laps of this Grand Prix. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But how long can we hold off this Ferrari for as we accelerate for another lap three? And the answer to that is, well, I'm not quite sure, but that's not a Ferrari off on the right hand side. It's actually, actually, I think it's Yuki Sonoda. Is it Yuki? It is Yuki. He's got past us. In fact, he's got past us. He's also got past the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. But we're going to hang him out to dry. So he goes to go around the outside. And look at this. Charles Leclerc sneaks past Yuki at the same time. Very smart move there from Charles Leclerc. But out of all that melee, we stay in 12 places. We accelerate for the lap five, just going past the pits. As you can see, still in 12 positions. That Ferrari, I have to say, doesn't seem to have the pace to try and get past us. He's got DRS, but he just, no, he just can't do it at the moment. He just cannot do it. But he's trying to sneak around the outside of us, as you can see, on lap six now. Still in 12th place. Lando Norris is the car ahead as we accelerate for at the end of lap six, just jumping over the chicanes. Once again, that Ferrari of Charles Leclerc is still right behind us. So we're going to come into the pits. Yes, into the pits we come. We are pitted, unfortunately, outside the World Championship points. We're going to see if we can try and get the undercut on maybe two or three cars ahead of us, but I just don't think it's going to work at this circuit. Anyway, are we going to get a good pit stop once again? Yes, we do. Look at that. Fantastic. 
optimal turning time. The lads put on the yellow sidewall tyre. Thank you, lads. And we reach, look at that, 2.3 second pit stop. So there was nothing wrong with the pit stop there. We're going to rejoin now, I think, in 19th place, unless Kevin Baxter's just going past us. And as you can see in the background, he is just going past us. So we're going to rejoin now in last position. Now, can we get that undercut? I just don't think we're going to do it, to be honest. I just really don't think we're going to do it as we accelerate for our lap seven. So we're going past the pits. There are cars now that have come in for their pit stop. One of those is Charles Leclerc, who was behind us, as you remember, earlier in the race. And I think we're going to get past Charlie, boys. We go past the pits. Are we? Yes, we do. But no, a car has beaten us. It's brand new, Joe, but we get past him. But another car just ahead of us has beaten us in the pit stop because he's just come out ahead of us. That was Charles Leclerc. No, we have lost the position. We haven't gained any places. We've actually lost one. So in theory, we are about 14th position now at the moment. So we accelerate for another lap eight. Just going past the pits again. We've got more cars coming in. Two more cars. I think one's a Hus. No, in fact, it could be three more cars. Just look at the minimap there. Yes, it is. It's three more cars. We go past and we're up to 15th place. There's Yuki Tsunoda. Yuki Tsunoda. But we managed to get past Yuki as well. So yes, my prediction was 100% correct. We rejoined the race in 14th place. We have actually lost one position. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is now lap nine. We've got brand new Joe behind us, as you can see. We've got yellow flags on the circuit. Just have a look at the minimap. Esteban Ocon. Esteban Ocon is out of the race. He should be there just off to the right hand side. Yes, there's his car parked up. So Esteban is out. Unfortunately, I think he was behind us. So we're not going to gain any position. Yes, we have gained a position, in fact. We've gained one. So we're now back in 13th place, which is what we had pretty much from the start of this Grand Prix. We accelerate on lap 13. Grand New Joe is trying to get past us. But, oh, going many outside, Grand New. Going many outside. But we managed to fend him off. We've got k Mag ahead of us now. He's almost 10 seconds up the road. And Grand New Joe is right behind us in... 14 positions. We accelerate forward out of lap 17. Well, that's it, everyone. Maxi Boy has won the race, and very disappointingly, it's unlucky for some. Number 13, it's going to be unlucky for us because that's where we're going to finish in this race. If we can just hold off Yuki Sonoda long enough, which I think we will do, yes, for the first time, I think this season, we are going to finish outside of the World Championship points. So, yes, a pretty disappointing race at Spain. But it is very hard to gain positions at the start. Very hard indeed. So that could have been a factor. And also the fact that um, Spain, the opposition, seemed to be very, very fast indeed. Very, very fast indeed. But anyway, we're going to cross the line. Still in 13th place. So we still weren't right at the back of the field. Just outside the World Championship points, which is disappointing as we cross the line. Fantastic. 13th place. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't too good. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll be reflected in the scores. Driver, the, they go to Charles Leclerc. I'm pretty sure that'll be reflected in the scores. Anyway, there are the team mechanics at Red Bull. Yes, I can see a 2 out of 10 coming. <laughs> and there are the drivers talking to each other in the pits. Look, I tried my best. I tried my best. And there is Maxi Boy Verstappen. Yes, says Max. I've won it again, lads. Yes, he bloody well has. It's getting boring now, isn't it? Getting boring now as he once again jumps up because he's still got lots of energy left. And was, the, was that a famous F1 YouTuber in the background? Was that Tiamat Marjit Benj? I couldn't quite see, but I think it was. And there's the beautiful Red Bull car in all its glory. So, let's go up to the podium now and see the podium people on their podium spots. And there's the winner, Maxi Boy. Is he going to shake his hand? Yes, there goes the handshake. There goes the handshake. I do not understand why they do that. But anyway, up onto the podium now. There's Maxi Boy. And Lulu. Lulu got second place. Well done, Lulu. And Carlos Sainz got third position. So there goes the trophy. Don't break it, Max. Don't break it, please. For God's sake, don't break it. <laughs> and there are the red... Look at her hair. Look at her hair. That's freaky. That's freaky deaky, man. Freaky deaky, as we used to say back in the 80s. Yes. I yeah, bet you haven't heard that for a few years, have you? Yeah, freaky deaky. And there goes the champagne over everyone. La 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 la. So let's have a look now at uh, Esteban Ocon. Is there any retirement in this race? And let's see what happens. Is it going to be an engine failure? Is the engine going to angle it? Uh, he's slowing down, I think. Yes, is he slowing down? Yes, he is slowing down, but there's nothing at the back of the car. This is very, very weird. So it's not an engine problem. It must be something else, maybe gearbox I'm not quite sure or electrical but he pulls off next to the marshal's post that's very very strange very very strange indeed let's look at the copy view and see if he's like stuck in gear or anything. no look he's actually dropping down the gear so it's not a gearbox problem 
so it definitely must be either a mechanical failure or electrical problem. But anyway, engine is still fine on Esteban's car, but he has to pull off and retire from the Grand Prix. So that's it for Esteban. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's go to the point situation. Of course, we got no points in that round. Max Verstappen did, and neither did Sebastian Vettel, in fact, in the other Aston Martin either. So let's have a look now in the standings and see where we are. And we are in 11th place. Now, we've dropped down one behind Lando Norris with 10 points. He's now got 11 points. Max still out in the lead with 142. Carlos Sainz in second with 94. Sergio Perez in third with 89 World Championship points. And the constructors, we're in 7th place at the moment. We dropped down from that as well. Well, there you go. Another week. Excited episode of the All Seasons has been completed. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. You have been awesome, as always. And yes, of course, there will, of course, be more later.